Welcome back to Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a haircut that's been inspired by this photo of Brigitte Bardot. Very, very layered, uh, very, very textured, a lot of volume in the crown, and in kind of longer bangs, but framed a little bit. So let's just get started here. We're going to start with a natural or center part, straight down the middle. Then we're going to separate the occipital bone to the mastoid and separate this flat in the back of the head. Now I'm going to use my feather plie razor and go through and real deeply channel this down to the end so I can get a lot of separation and remove a lot of weight. But by going across the bottom and not moving my left hand, I can still get all the hair a very, very similar length. It's just going to be really, really textured. So here I just want to continue to take my time and make my sections as consistent as possible. That's the thing about using a razor is it doesn't require a whole lot of muscling. It requires more finesse and part of that finesse is making sure that all your razoring is consistent throughout. You don't want to remove more weight from one side and less weight from another. You want to keep it as consistent as possible. So we're going to do the same thing on both sides and then move up to our next section which is going to be from the drop crown to the high point of the ear section this on both sides and then follow the same length that I had before. Here you're going to see the elevation with which I'm holding up the center of the back because the center of the head tends to have a little more weight and I don't want this line to be real solid. I want it to be very very fluid and very wispy on the bottom. So I'll start there, get my elevation right and then slowly go through and channel that all the way down to my fingertips and cut that length off across. Then we're going to move over to the right side and follow and do the same thing on the left side, just very systematically going through and making sure the weight's even. Now sometimes one side of the hair is going to be a little thicker than the other side, so I may go back in and channel that a little bit more or take a little bit more hair out before I move on to the next side. Just being very, very methodical and very consistent and patient as well. If you haven't already done so, please check out our other social media. We got uh, the Instagram, we got the Facebook, we got it all. So please check it out and also give us a follow. Trying to keep my textures the same. Now with the plie, I want to get the angle of the blade consistent across the whole section of the hair because if the angle of the blade changes, I may take more, I may take less, so I want to keep that angle against the hair very consistent. Now here you can see I'm taking a little more weight out on the left side because she's got more weight on the left side. Here we're going to finish up. We've gone through and done another section, another layer, but we're just following that all the way through to the end, starting in the middle, making sure I get a little elevation so I don't get too thick in the center go through follow my guide length that's where I'm gonna plant my left hand and not move it slowly channel that through and get everything consistent just finishing up here on the overall length pulling it behind the shoulders and keeping everything even in one length now here we're gonna start with our face framing I'm gonna take the first bump of the head right to the high point of the hairline over the ear so I find that first bump by just laying the comb against the front hairline and where it starts to round and leave the head, that's going to be the, the width of the section. Start in the center, hold that, cut it at about her nose length. That seems to be where the picture was, right in the center. And then it's going to build up some length pretty quickly. Now this first section right around the front I'm going to cut a little shorter so we can have a little bit more interest around the face if she decides to pull it up like Bridget did a lot. She always pulled everything the sides back and had some little pieces hanging forward. So I'm just going to go through and cut this down. This is going to be a lot shorter than our overall length is, but the next section will blend that through. Now here to make sure that that bang separates, I'm going to go through and back cut just right there at the recession so it forces that hair to separate from my face framing and my layering around the front. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Start right in the center of the bangs where I use that as my guide length. 
and then work that down and try to match my lengths on both sides. Now you'll notice that I'm cutting from the top, the center right above her, her nose, down to the lengths over her ears. And on the right side, you'll see I'll use the tip of the blade. On the left side, I cut from the top down and use the butt of the blade. That way, the blade's going to dull at a more consistent rate. And I don't just dull the tip and have to replace the blade more often. Now I'm going to continue my sectioning back. I'm going to take a parallel section and I'm going to pull this forward and I'm going to completely ignore the lengths that I cut underneath and cut this right about to her chin, maybe a little shorter than her chin, and create an entirely new guideline for my face framing layer so that this is going to be longer and hang over the undercut of the face framing I did around the front. And then I'm just going to go cut this down to the length that I already cut from cutting the back. So I'm not trying to cut this shorter, I'm cutting it right to that length. And then I'll take uh, the rest of the hair, pull that forward, and anything that hangs over my previously cut guide, I'm just going to cut that to fit in. There shouldn't be a whole lot, but there's going to be a little bit, and so just make sure that that all fits in real nice and clean. Now we're going to go through and take her natural or center part and then I'm taking the quarter part which separates the front of the head from the back of the head. So I'm taking right from the crown to the top of the ear. Now I'm taking a little triangular section in the crown and I'm going to split that into three sections. Now this first section I'm going to cut pretty short but I'm going to make sure that I have a really long stroke to keep those edges very very soft and I'm taking it shorter than you're probably comfortable with but this shape demands that the crown is really really short. I'll use that as a guide for my next piece and I'm going to pull this right up into the previously cut section and cut it the same length. Hold that up, turn the razor upside down and just go through and power through and cut that off. Follow the previously cut guide take a broad long stroke so that you can get all that hair cut off. Then I'll do the same thing to the third section of this triangular section of the crown. Be sure to check out the Jatai YouTube channel and also if you wouldn't mind give us a thumbs up, click subscribe and the notification bell if you'd like to be notified of any future videos that we put out. So we got the crown cut. Now I'm going to take one side and I'm going to take a parallel section to that angle that we had already sectioned out for the crown. So I've got my guide that was previously cut. Now I'm going to take a parallel section to that and then I'm going to hold this up. Now here I'm going to do what's called step layering. So there's my length. Now I'm going to cut that a little bit longer. So each section below this is actually going to be cut a little bit longer than the previously cut section. So the layering is stepped down and stepped getting longer. So you're going to be able to build up a really intense amount of length in a short period of time that's still going to blend all the way through from short all the way down to long. All the weight's going to be removed and it's still going to blend perfectly. You're going to get a lot of separation because of the texture of the razor and you're going to get a lot of volume in the scalp even with all this long heavy hair. So I'm going to pull this up. There's my guide from underneath. Well, if I can get the tangle out there. Guides from underneath. There's the next one. So now I'm going to pinch this off and cut that a little bit longer than the previously cut guide until I run out of hair. And then I'm going to go through and do the same thing on the other side. So I've sectioned out my triangular section on the right side as my guide. I've taken a parallel section to that and holding everything straight up, finding my guide length, there it is, holding that up, going a little bit longer, maybe an inch longer, maybe, you know, three quarters of an inch longer, inch and a half. You can do a lot, but depending upon how thick the hair is, is the only determining factor on how small the section has to be and how much you can step it. And that's just going to come with experience. There we got a little bit that fell out, so we'll cut that off. Now we'll take our next section parallel to the previous section. Right through there we go. 
hold this up. This is going to be slightly longer than the previously cut section. Now, if you can't hold all the hair in your hands, maybe your fingers aren't long enough, or maybe the hair is really thick and really long, I can go through and take out the previously cut guides as I start to walk my guide down. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to remove the center triangular section. I have my previously cut guide. I'll add the new length that I'm going to cut into the previously cut guide. Hold that straight up. Now I only have one guide that I have to look for. I can go a little bit longer. There we go. Perfect right there. And cut it off. And just keep going until I run out of hair. Remove the previously cut guide. Now I've got the last section I cut and the new section, and there's not a whole lot to cut. I've gotten probably four sections down, and it was really short, but yet now it still blends all the way through. Now we're going to take a continue that triangular section in the front of the head, and anything that sticks out beyond the guide, I'm going to go through and razor that. But I'm razoring it at an angle as I'm pulling it back. So that's going to keep my length around the front that I've already cut. And this is just going to make sure everything blends in with the back half of the head. Hold that up. Get everything out of the way. Make sure everything is nice and even. My stroke of the razor is nice and even across the whole section. Now when I grip that section, I have to put a death grip on it to make sure that I'm not losing control and that when I touch it with the razor, the razor is not pushing it out of my hand. i got to keep it really gripped tightly in order to cut. And here is our end result. We got a nice short crown. We got some fullness to it. We got it a little longer around the front, layered all the way throughout. It's blown out a little more polished than the photo is, but looks pretty good. Please check out the Jatai Academy for more educational content like this, and you can even share your own work. We'd love to see that. Please leave a comment for what you'd like to see in the future, and we'll see you next time.